Now at five. It's scary. A warning to women in Miami as police search for the man who attacked two victims. I just hope they catch him though. Tonight, important information in a CBS 4 News safety alert. Miami police hit the streets today, passing out flyers and telling women in the area about the attacks that happened yesterday morning. They're especially scary because they happened within an hour of each other at the victims' homes. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Miami with a safety alert for everyone. Peter. Well, Elliot, we can tell you the Miami police went door to door this afternoon, passing out these flyers right here, looking for help in finding a predator who's between 30 and 40 years old, looking for information about a man who they say assaulted two women within one hour on Thursday morning. Good afternoon, Miami police. Officers are looking for leads, telling neighbors. Make sure you keep your doors locked. Make sure you keep your windows locked, your gates locked, and so forth when you're inside your home. They're passing out flyers about the man on this bicycle. Police say it was 7 Thursday morning when he confronted a woman in her 20s who was leaving her home and tried to push her back inside. She ran away. An hour later, he returned to the same area, entered a second woman's home and sexually assaulted her. During that attack, he was armed with a handgun. We are concerned that he may be out there attempting to victimize the next person. He appeared very persistent. He's described as a thinly built, muscular black male, last seen wearing a dark blue long sleeve shirt, jeans, dark shoes, and a baseball cap. What do you think about what he did? What do you think about what he did? It's everyone. Everyone. Neighbor Adrienne Ortiz feels fortunate she was not attacked. She told me she saw this suspect next to her apartment and his bicycle. Was him? Would you like to see this? Oh guy yes! Oh yes! What would that mean to oh, you? Oh yes! Yeah. <laughs> no! Don't come on next to me. An hour after the sexual assault, police were knocking on Lauren Savio's door and asking questions. The cop was like, "If you hear anything in the back, let us know." They asked me if, like, I had seen what had happened. If I seen this guy dressed in blue with a hat, and I was just like, you know, I'm pregnant. At seven months along, Sabayo was extremely anxious when she heard about the attacks. She put a string on her door with a bell attached to an alarm in case anyone tried to break in. I used to walk. They say walking is good, so I would walk over here from my house, from like where family dollar is, and now I'm like, I need to get dropped off. Detectives consider this man armed and dangerous. It's just bad. It's just bad. I just hope they catch him, though. And that was a consensus here among neighbors. They worry that this person may strike again. Police tell us they believe that this suspect is from the area and has a habit of walking around the area. If you can help, call Miami Dade Crime Stoppers at 305 471 TIPS. There is a reward of up to $3,000. We're live in Little Haiti, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.